Hello, Miworkies fam! Welcome to my channel. My name is Mia, and this is Miworkies. I'm a self love UIX designer, and I'm here to make your life hella easier. So, on today's video, we're gonna go over all of the new Figma features that has been added, how they're useful for you, and maybe on another video, we could dig deep in each of them because some of them are a bit hard to learn. Let's get on with this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up to this video, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let's go. The first thing that Figma has added is variables. Variables basically unlike design themes like light and dark mode or mobile and desktop with variables and people. This is really cool because you got to list all of these things in this new tool and create dark mode, create light mode, create a really specific color systems and all of that. The next thing is dev mode. So you might think that this is not really for you designers, but it actually makes everything super easy for designers to learn how to code something like that. if you're interested it's gonna be useful for you so in dev mode you're gonna be able to like see all the transitions from the design to development and it's just a lot of easier because it has all of this different data it has all of these different plugins you can add and it's really really helpful for you the third thing that is really good is advanced prototyping. So Figma actually has launched this huge new prototyping methods. It's gonna be super helpful for you to stay in the app, not have to go to different other platforms to prototype and just do everything locally. So you can actually build like really smart prototypes faster with fewer frames. It has like conditional logic, mathematical expressions. And again, you can use variables in the prototyping. And everything is connected and is really brilliant. And now something that I personally am really excited about is the new wrap in auto layout. So you can actually use this in your uh, auto layout to make it more smart and really much more responsive. So this is another one that is again really brilliant. And the two last things that are cool, I guess, is the new uh, font picker. So if you have checked out your Figma recently, you're gonna see that whenever you want to like choose a font, it's gonna show you how the font is looking. I think that's really good because I don't have to like go down on each font on a text and just see how it's gonna look and I love that. And the final one is the global search feature. So they've added this new search feature that you can easily use to search in the whole platform. So that would be like in your files, in conversations, anything. You can use the global search and find everything. The layout is a bit different in Figma if you've recently checked it out, but on a general note, it's really good. And the final thing, that I've cut my eye that these new features may be brought on are bugs. Yes, sir, we have bugs. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys like had this problem. The files in your file are gonna go missing in a certain page. And like however I look for them, there's nowhere to be found. This has happened to some of my teammates as well and we're freaking out. And like you have to zoom to selection to get back the data. So it's a bug I think. And like the first times that it happened, we all freaked out. But hopefully people please fix that because I don't want my files to get permanently lost. XD problems. So that's it. That's it for this video. I have a link from someone named Molly. I found this on Twitter. They have actually created a playground on Gumroad. You can download it. It's free and you can just use this, all of these new features, the auto layout, the variable, the mode, and just play with it. See how it works. And let me know if you want me to create a video on them. I would probably make a video on variables and the new auto layout because it's just going to elevate your design on another level. And I guess because it's really new, it's going to be hard to navigate at first like it was hard for me so let's get on with that and i will probably see you in the next video don't forget to like this video subscribe and leave a comment please if you're growing really fast here and i'm looking at 1000 subscribers right now i'm not but i want to be subscribe please and i will see you in the next video have a nice day and goodbye